Welcome back, and today we are going to go Pokemon hunting in Granite Cave, where we will, well, we will be going hunting for certain Pokemon, and you know what? If I can catch an Abra without actually putting in any effort, I'm going to use one. One, and... Abra teleports away. Because that's the only move he knows. Anyways, we're going to go through Granite Cave without using Flash. Because... That's how we roll. And we found an Aeron. Now... He steel and rock, and I want to catch him, so I'm going to use Ember because the rock gets rid of the super effective on the fire on steel. At least I think that's how it works. I could be completely wrong, but hey. So we're going to use a Pokeball, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to flip. <laughs> and I don't have to attempt a backflip. Okay, so I caught my first Pokemon that's going to be added to my team. And I'm going to nickname this one. Okay. Carefully now, so that way I don't accidentally screw it up. Because I have screwed it up before when I've tried to nickname Pokemon. His name is going to be Metal Head. M A T L H E a D. Okay. So now I have Blaze and Metalhead. And more annoying Zubats. Um Zubat seems to like to populate every cave in every Pokemon game. And all he likes to do is use Supersonic. And that's really Annoying, but... Ooh, this is good. Sableye. Not only are you a version exclusive, but you are now going to be my HM slave. So you better not die. I don't care if you scratch me. Just don't die. Thank you. Because Sableyes are really rare to find, although you wouldn't tell by me playing, because I found one within, like, three minutes, two minutes, four minutes... I'm going to use a Great Ball, and he just broke the Great Ball. It's a good thing I didn't buy this, these Great Balls. Come on. Yay, another Pokemon. And so, we have the third Pokemon in the team. Second one that I've caught, and I will nickname this one too. And you will be named... Uh, well, seeing as how you are going to be a slave, oops, I will name you Slave, and you will be Mr. Slave. Note, no actual Pokemon were, what am I kidding? All Pokemon are slaves. They're forced to do their owner's bidding. Oh wow, seriously? Every other day of the week, I can't find a Sableye to save my life. And today, I can find them like they're, grow on, they're growing on trees. Nightshade. Oh no. Nightshade does... Uh, the damage Nightshade does is equivalent to the Pokemon's level. Seeing as how... Um, I only have 56 health, it's a little scary, but really doesn't do much. Makes an okay finishing move when you know that your level is higher than the remaining Pokemon. The Pokemon you're facing's HP is, so. It's not that bad, but. And then Leech Life. Better than a Super Sonic, I guess. If I do get uh, confused through Super Sonic, I'm just going to run from the battle because I refuse to, like, punch myself in the face a few times. Okay, so we are in this cave, we will run, we will go up here, and we'll grab the useless Everstone. Uh, it prevents Pokemon from evolving. Two things about that. One, why would you? Two, 
You don't need an item to prevent evolution anyways. You can just use the B button. Um, so really, it's pretty useless. Okay, a Makuta. We will peck him in the armpit. And he will go down, and we will gain a level. <laughs> and that cave entrance down there leads to Steven, who we have to deliver a letter to. So we're going to kick a Geodude in the face. Blaze's his favorite thing to do. He did it throughout the entire first gym. He also likes kicking nose passes in the face when there's nothing else around. Oh, pardon me. My name is Steven. Blah, blah, blah. And he gives a steel wing. So that's pretty awesome. Except, like, Skarmory is the only one I can think of at the moment that can learn it. And I might not be using a Skarmory. Although I originally planned it, I might instead be using a Tropius due to, uh, I'm going to be using Aeron, which Aeron takes forever to get to his last form, but hey, we can deal with it. Okay, so, that guy teaches us Flash, or gives us Flash, but... As you can see, we can navigate caves without it. However, I will grab it from him in case of an emergency. Okay. Now that we're finally out of this cave. Hey, you, it gets awfully dark head. Yeah, no thanks for the a warning earlier. Kind of already went through it. Um, hmm. Woot. You learned Flash. Or got Flash. Whatever. Yeah, I know. I need Doofridge Gym, but... Actually, what I can do right now... I can totally skip the second gym. And I might. Just for giggles. And leave it for the last. Because... <laughs> I've done that once, accidentally. I gave the letter to Steven, forgetting that you have to go through the second gym to get Flash to work. So I went through the cave without it being lit up, which is, which I've done by accident. So I managed to like learn how to do it on purpose now. And now I can go to Sleepport. And I would go there, but I don't want to. I want to go to Petalburg because I want to go see the head at Devon Corp because he has an EXP share and I really want said EXP share and we are back in the house with the old man who chases seagulls around tables uh, I'm going to make sure my Pokemon party's all good I'm going to switch Metalhead out front Okay. Sorry about that. I had to double check and make sure I remembered to uh, nickname Sableye. Okay. Wormpulse. Awesome. Go away, Wormpulse. You will be used as XP. Now, Aaron knows Headbutt at uh, level 10, which is really good and it's way better than Tackle. Uh, don't want to overkill on the Wurmple. But, uh... Euron learned some pretty good moves early on. For... Him. But he takes forever to level up. Uh... Also, because he is part steel, you might have saw that Poison Sting was ineffective. And that is because steel types cannot be poisoned. Uh... So they would have been awesome in the first generation against Koga, who was a poison type. Although, like, every Pokemon he had also had a secondary type. 
Most of them, I think, were bug or grass. But, uh... You know, I don't know. Can't remember. Anyways, I'm... I'm running out of time. Again. So, once I exit Petalberg Woods, I will cut it. And... Metalhead might actually take a bit of grinding to get leveled up. Actually, no, I can go take on a few trainers that I missed earlier by using Cut, which I forgot to pick up. So, when I come back, I will pick up Cut, get EXP share, train Metalhead a bit, and I will take on the second gym. So, until then, au revoir.